on today's boat refrigerator video, we are going to show you a marine refrigerator door fix. Our boat's refrigerator door needed to be fixed. We also repaired some rust and replaced our boat's refrigerator 12 volt cooling fan. Join us as we get started on our boat's refrigerator repair. Welcome to our channel, No Tops at All. My wife and I have had a lifelong dream of cruising the Caribbean. We fell in love with this stunning Regal 4260 that had fallen into a state of disrepair. Follow us on our adventure as we restore this boat and fulfill our lifelong dream of cruising the Caribbean. So our refrigerator has been freezing up and um, ice in the ice maker and a lot of moisture in the refrigerator itself. But one of the two things when we pulled it out to start working on it, we discovered is that the fan back here is not cooling off the uh, radiator. So there's also a lot of rust back here. So what I'm gonna start with now is I'm gonna remove this rust. I got a new uh, fan. I actually got it from uh, Best Buy, $13 computer fan. But if you look on it, it's a 12 volt fan. So we're gonna start with that uh, now and then um, clean up the rust and you'll see the other projects we're gonna do to this refrigerator. Because if you're in the market for a refrigerator for a boat, the one thing you know for sure is how insanely expensive they are. So let's see if we can't get a few more years out of this one. My buddy, Eugene with McEnroy LLC, who's been helping me a lot with our boat, came to help me pull out the refrigerator and to chase down another electrical problem. Boat work is not hard most of the time, but it does require working from odd angles. Once we had pulled it out, I started to attack the rust. Almost all rust converter products require that you sand down the rust. Two lessons that I learned on this project is one, if at all possible, get lots of ventilation. Secondly, remove anything that you prefer not covered in rust dust. My wife is still finding rust dust on her dishes. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna treat this with an anti-rust treatment. Um, I've used Permatex to pretty good success on the engine. Um, this is hopefully not near as harsh an environment. Um, so what we're going to do is now we're going to stop the rusting process or uh, kill the rusting activation and then we're going to cover it up with some Rust treated and I didn't get my respirator mask out. The rust dust that was in my nose came in contact with the aerosolized rust converter and I regret not wearing the respirator. A link to the one I normally use is in the description below. The black peppering that you see is a sign that the rust converter is working. So one of the problems you're always fighting on a boat is rust. And unfortunately the rust here has eaten away to where the only thing left is this uh, one screw and the metal is very uh, fatigued. So what we're doing today is we're going to remove this install. Sorry, we're trying to get good light here and it's in the middle of the night. Install this, install this bracket here to reinforce it and then screw this into the bracket. So that's the next process we're going to do. As we're editing this video, it's Black Friday, and I'm looking for deals on additional batteries and better drill bits. Working with only one battery and dull bits 
was a maddening process. It's always better to be too small than too big. Oh yeah. We first started by attaching our new 12 volt fan. Move my big meat hooks out of the way here in just a second. It's always a challenge to balance between getting the shot to show you what we're doing and getting the work done. One difficulty for us was finding the electrical diagram for the refrigerator converter. Then we needed to find the wiring diagram for a fan that was designed around a plug and play computer system. The wiring portion was the easy part. We want to give a special thanks to our Patreon supporters. Also, please like and subscribe. As always, we appreciate your comments and feedback. Until next time, no tops at all to your dreams. Thank you.